What if I told you there's a tiny biological powerhouse lurking in the soils beneath our feet and the waters in our lakes? Microbial fuel cells are the unassuming heroes of the renewable energy world, harnessing the power of microorganisms to generate electricity. Imagine a future where wastewater treatment plants not only clean water, but also produce energy or remote sensors are powered perpetually by the microbes in the soil. Stick around as we dive deep into this groundbreaking technology, uncovering how microbial fuel cells work, their potential applications, and the hurdles we need to overcome to make them a mainstay in our renewable energy arsenal. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest in futuristic technology. And of course, share your thoughts and opinions with us in the comments section below. Now, let's get into the fascinating world of microbial fuel cells. Microbial fuel cells, or M, hacks, harness the natural metabolic processes of microorganisms to generate electricity. This innovative technology operates on a simple yet profoundly ingenious principle. Microorganisms consume organic matter and, as a byproduct, produce electron. These electrons can be captured and used to generate electricity, effectively turning waste into a source of renewable energy. To understand our mix function, let's take a closer look at the components of a typical microbial fuel cell. At its core, an MC consists of an anode and a cathode, separated by a membrane. The anode is situated in an anaerobic environment, one that lacks oxygen while the cathode is exposed to an aerobic environment where oxygen is present. Microorganisms, commonly found in soil or wastewater, latch onto the anode and begin to consume the organic matter in their surrounding. During this metabolic process, electrons are liberated and travel from the anode to the cathode through an external circuit, generating electricity. Protons produced during this process pass through the membrane to the cathode, where they combine with oxygen to form water. The beauty of the maze lies in their versatility. They can utilize a wide variety of organic materials, ranging from simple sugars to complex organic waste. This means that mix can be employed in numerous settings, from treating industrial wastewater to powering remote sensors in the field. Moreover, since the process is driven by naturally occurring microorganisms, the environmental impact is minimal, making mix a truly green technology. One of the most promising applications of maize, one of the most promising applications of maize water treatment. Traditional wastewater treatment plants are energy intensive, consuming large amounts of electricity to aerate the water and remove contaminants. By incorporating maize into the treatment process, these plants can generate electricity while simultaneously cleaning the water. The organic matter in the wastewater serves as fuel for the microorganisms, allowing the plant to offset some of its energy costs and reduce its carbon footprint. In some cases, maize have been shown to generate enough electricity to power the entire treatment process, making wastewater treatment not only more sustainable, but also economically viable. Another exciting application of makes is in remote sensing and monitoring. Many environmental monitoring devices, such as sensors that track soil moisture or water quality, require a steady supply of power to function. In remote or inaccessible locations, providing this power can be challenging and expensive. However, makes can be deployed in these environments to provide a continuous, low-maintenance power source. For instance, an M's gear buried in the soil can draw on the organic matter and microorganisms already present to generate electricity, powering a soil moisture sensor for months or even years without the need for battery replacements or even years without the need for battery replacements or external power sources. The potential of MOX extends beyond these applications, with researchers exploring their use in powering small-scale electronics, such as wearable devices, and even integrating them into larger renewable energy system. For example, maize could be combined with solar panels or wind turbines to provide a more consistent and reliable power supply, particularly in areas with variable sunlight or wind conditions. Despite their promise, Max face several challenges that must be addressed before they can be widely adopted. One of the primary hurdles is efficiency. 
While EMS can generate electricity from a variety of organic materials, their power output is relatively low compared to other renewable energy technology. Researchers are working to improve the efficiency of makes by optimizing the design of the electrodes, experimenting with different types of microorganisms, and developing new materials that can enhance electron transfer. Another challenge is scalability. While MSKs have been successfully demonstrated in laboratory settings and small-scale applications, scaling up the technology to a level where it can be used in large-scale wastewater treatment plants or integrated into the power grid is a complex task. This requires not only technological advancements, but also significant investment and infrastructure development. Moreover, the long-term stability and durability of mix need to be thoroughly tested. The biological components of MOX, such as the microorganisms and the organic matter they consume, can be influenced by environmental factors such as temperature, pH, and the presence of contaminants. Ensuring that maize can operate reliably under a wide range of conditions is crucial for their widespread adoption. One promising avenue of research is the development of synthetic biology approaches to engineer microorganisms specifically for use in X. By modifying the genetic makeup of these microorganisms, scientists can enhance their ability to produce electrons, tolerate different environmental conditions, and utilize a broader range of organic material. This could significantly improve the performance and reliability of makes, making them a more viable option for various applications. Another exciting development is the use of advanced materials to improve the efficiency of MAVES. For example, researchers are exploring the use of graphene and other nanomaterials to create more conductive and durable electrode. These materials can enhance electron transfer and increase the overall power output of makes, making them more competitive with other renewable energy technology. In addition to these technological advancements, policy and regulatory support will be essential for the widespread adoption of MAX. Governments and regulatory bodies can play a crucial role by providing funding for research and development, offering incentives for the deployment of MIX, and establishing standards and guidelines to ensure the safety and efficacy of the technology. Furthermore, public awareness and acceptance of MAKES as a viable, renewable energy source will be key to their success. Public education campaigns and community engagement initiatives can help to demystify the technology, highlighting its benefits and addressing any concerns or misconception. By fostering a greater understanding and appreciation of maize, we can pave the way for their integration into our energy systems and drive the transition towards a more sustainable future. As we look to the future, it is clear that myth hold immense potential for transforming the way we generate and use energy. By harnessing the power of microorganisms, we can unlock new sources of renewable energy, reduce our reliance on fossil fuels, and mitigate the environmental impact of our energy consumption. While there are challenges to overcome, the ongoing research and development efforts in the field of mix are paving the way for innovative solutions and breakthroughs that will bring this technology closer to widespread adoption. In conclusion, microbial fuel cells represent a fascinating and promising frontier in the quest for renewable energy. By leveraging the natural processes of microorganisms, makes offer a unique and sustainable way to generate electricity from organic matter. From wastewater treatment to remote sensing, the potential applications of makes are vast and varied, with the capacity to revolutionize numerous industries and contribute to a greener, more sustainable future. As we continue to explore and develop this technology, it is crucial to address the challenges of efficiency, scalability and stability while also fostering public awareness and policy support. With continued innovation and collaboration, microbial fuel cells could become a key component of our renewable energy landscape, powering a cleaner and more resilient world. Thank you for taking this deep dive into the world of microbial fuel cells with us. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date with the latest in futuristic technology, make sure to subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, so leave a comment down below and let's continue the conversation. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.